वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 11.26 सो स्टेटमेंट इज टेकिंग इन टू अकाउंट ओनली द इफेक्ट ऑफ नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस इज डिटरमाइन द स्ट्रेन एनर्जी ऑफ द प्रिज्मेटिक बीम ए बी ऑफ द लोडिंग सो यू कैन सी दिस इज बीम ए बी दैट इज फिक्स सपोर्ट एट पॉइंट ए एंड अ रोलर सपोर्ट एट पॉइंट बी एट पॉइंट डी वी हैव अ मूमेंट एम नॉट इज अप्लाइड ऑल्सो डिस्टेंस फ्राम ए टू डी इज ए वाइल फ्राम डी टू बी इट इज B and total length of the beam is L. So we have to find the strain energy of the prismatic beam AB for this loading. So first step of uh, this is that if we remove the support at this point, so there will be a reaction force A, and similarly if we remove roller support, so there will be reaction forces. So I will represent them over here. So let this is R A. Clear and this is R B. So first we will find these supports R uh, reaction forces R A and R B in order to proceed further. So first step is that we will take sum of all moment about point B is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive. Now. About point B, the first moment is due to this R A and perpendicular distance is this L, and it is producing clockwise, so it will be a positive uh, negative value. So I will write it minus R A into perpendicular distance is L. Now second, there is no other force, and there is a external moment M not is applied at point D, so this will be also, and this is. Count uh, this is clockwise, so it will be also zero. So minus m naught there sum must be equal to zero. So from here you can say that uh, R A will be equal to m naught over L minus. Now what does this R A means? This means that R should be downward, but here we have taken R A as upward. So you have to make a correction. Uh, and you have to uh, you have to take down the re uh, reaction R A downward. Now we'll apply the second second equilibrium condition. And second equilibrium condition is sum of all moment about point A is equal to zero. And taking the counterclockwise moment as positive. Now about point A, the only moment is produced due to R B is and perpendicular distance is R A and it is producing counterclockwise, so it will be positive. So R B into perpendicular distance and there is external moment at point D which is M O and that is clockwise, so it their sum must be equal to zero. So from here you will get this R B is equal to M naught over L. It means that R B is positive, so our assumed direction is correct, and that is this is upward. Now we will find the moment equation at various sections. So for that we will cut the beam. So first I will cut the beam at point D. So if you cut the beam at point D, so what will happen? This is the reaction force R A. This is the distance. Let this distance is um, x. Now we have already. I have already told you that R A is downward, and if you represent it downward, so its value will be plus. And when you cut it, there will be a shear force V, and there will be a reaction moment M. And let this distance is x, and this point is J. So first we will apply from A to when you move from A to D. This is the section. So again you will apply the equilibrium condition that sum of all moment about point J is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive. About point J the moment is due to this R A and perpendicular distance is X and their external moment their sum must be equal to zero so r a is uh, my uh, m naught into l m naught over l why we have taken as positive because we have represented them it downward into perpendicular distance is this x and it is producing counterclockwise so it will be positive 
plus their external movement m which is also counterclockwise so movement is positive it means that this reaction movement is equal to minus m naught x over l so our assume value of the moment reaction moment is incorrect it should be in clockwise direction so this is the moment equation now we will find the strain energy in portion a d and that is equal to from 0 to a m square d x over 2 e i so you can just put the value is equal to um, 0 to a m square is minus m naught into x over l whole square over 2 e i into dx so u a d will become equal to if you simplify it it will be equal to m naught square over 2 e i l square integral of 0 to a and that will be equal to x square into dx if you further simplify it you will get strain energy in portion a d will be equal to um, m naught a cube m naught square a cube over 6 e i into l square so this is the value of strain energy in portion ad i hope you can take the integral of x square into dx and if you put the limit 0 to a you will get this value now from d to b if you move d to b what is d to b let me check it so if you move from d to b and cut it or anywhere so what if you draw the beam this is this is rb and rb is equal to m naught over l and let this distance from d this is point d to b and this distance is v so if you cut it so definitely there will be a shear force and there will be a reaction moment m okay and let this point is k so you will have to find the moment equation sum of all moment about point k is equal to zero taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so at point k you have this moment r b into perpendicular distance v and it is counterclockwise so it will be positive so i will write it r b is m naught in m naught over l into perpendicular distance is v okay Mm, minus this external moment m which is clockwise their sum must be equal to zero so from here you will get this moment is equal to m naught into v divided by l so you have this moment you can put it in u b d is equal to integral of integral start from zero to b okay why 0 to b because it start from here this is 0 and till this point this is b so 0 to b into m square m m is here m into v over l whole square divided by 2 e i into dx dv it will be dv now okay so if you take the square so you will get bd is equal to m naught square over 2 e i l square and we will left with 0 to b into v square into dv i will after solving and taking the integral you will get m naught b cube over 6 e i l square i hope you will be able to solve this 
now you have uab uad and ubd so you know that total strain energy is equal to uad plus ubd uad is this value m naught square a cube over 6 e i l square plus ubd is m naught square b cube over 6 e i l square again you can take the common term the common term is that is common in both which is m naught square over 6 e i l square and you will be left with a cube plus b cube so total strain energy for the beam under the given loading is m naught square over 6 e i l square into a cube plus b cube so this is the answer of our this problem number 11-26 i hope you have enjoyed this video uh, thank you for watching me and supporting me and uh, again if you are new to my channel then i will request to subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get the notification about my new videos Thank you.